As students bring home these devices, we ask that parents and guardians really consider digital citizenship and how kids need to be aware of that in their interactions on these computers. Digital citizenship is teaching kids how to be good, kind, digital citizens. This includes things like safety, privacy, media literacy, creative credit, communication, cyberbullying, self-image, and reputation. You're already teaching your kids to be good, kind human beings, but there's an extra layer to that when kids are behind a keyboard. It's easier for kids to be mean or say things that they wouldn't otherwise say when they're behind that screen or keyboard. The basic rule is you're part of the community. Put good into the world and don't stir up trouble. Be a force for good. Kids should be really encouraged to think critically, behave safely, and participate responsibly. So how do you as a parent with this device at home help make sure your child is using the device um, safely, smartly, and with privacy in mind? Well, with younger kids, you might help choose the content with them or for them. So you can, you know, hopefully monitor any sites they might be going to do a little research or to learn about a certain topic. But older kids will be selecting more for themselves. So the goal is to help them make good choices on their own. Help teach them how to find accurate information uh, with considering the source of the information and instilling your values, watching sites together to make sure that any videos are appropriate and talking about the messages in media to help them become smart consumers. But tweens are often more secretive as they gain independence, so it's fine to check on what they're doing even as they're making a lot of these choices on their own. Set the expectation before they have the device on their own, but at any time let kids know that you'll be checking so they shouldn't be going on sites that are not um, appropriate or approved. Of course, the best tool we have as parents is constant communication. So it's great to regularly follow up with chats. Many kids weather the storms of social media and all the messages fairly unscathed. But if they do make mistakes, we can use them as opportunities to help them learn how to move forward wisely. Kids are highly skilled when it comes to sniffing out hypocrisy, and tweens are especially good at calling out their parents. So modeling the behavior you want to see is your first priority, of course. If you are setting solid standards but don't like what your kid is doing, monitoring their media use is the next step via device free zones and times. Think limits, not lectures. Communicate, don't corner. So using the device for schoolwork and for a little bit of free time makes sense, but using a device all day or exploring uncharted parts of social media on their own on a regular basis maybe is not fine. Since we don't want to teach our kids to make negative choices when they are on their own, it's important to um, help them and mediate as necessary rather than jumping in every time there's an issue. Good luck and please, please reach out to the CMS staff with questions as we all navigate this new territory.